Kakaka. I hope it's not this landlord though. Money no day for now. Ah, Stefan, Stefan. Brown, thank God you are home. Hope say there is no problem. Problem with big passos no go come on real. Big man, big wahala. Please have your seats. Thank you, buddy. So what may I offer you? Man, last night's club scattered. You need to explain what happened, Brown. Hmm, what happened then? All this your club club talk every time. Don't worry, I'll let your fiancé know once she's back from Europe. Look at who he's talking. Do you have any idea of the ones she's been there? Well, no fiancé, no problem. It's obvious that it might be a lady that killed you in your first life. <laughs> That's superstitious. I don't even believe in all this reincarnation stuff. You are taking a lot of time, Brown. We need to get you on time. Did I tell you I'm still preparing? Are you not the one that started your big conversations about club and women? Clubs and women are related, and they keep women excited. But it's not all men that love clubbing now. Nah. Those men are missing a lot. The door is not locked. Mr. Brown, I have unfinished talk with you. Unfinished talk? I don't understand. The manager has fired me because of my two days absence from work. Oh, oh, now I remember. I know you are too close with him. Can you please talk to him on my behalf? Hmm, there is nothing he can do about that. It has been the rules guiding the firm. The worst part of it is that you didn't even take permission. Don't you know this is an organized company? You are right, Brown. I know all this, but this month's salary is already budgeted. It will affect my plans if it costs the money, and you know it's a huge amount for that matter. All right, I'll talk to the manager on your behalf. Just pray we have a rethink, but you know if others hear it, it will look like a partial game. No one will hear it, Brown. Just try your best for me. It's okay, Gabriel. I got you on this. Thank you. Always creating problems for yourself. Business before pleasure. But you, you only prefer pleasure before business. Co -co -co. The door is not locked. Sweetheart, oh my dear Ella, welcome back. Did you miss me, Gabriel? Sure, I did. I have been thinking about you. Oh, really? Yes, of course. How was your trip, my love? Well, my trip was fine. It's just that. Just that? What, babe? I missed the opportunity. Oh, no. Not again, babe. What happened? Um, the interview was so tough. I never prepared for it. Oh, I see. I'm just a bad luck lately. Hey, babe, don't say that. You are not a bad luck. Your own job will come. And perhaps I'm not complaining. Thank you, babe. You don't need to thank me. I can do anything to make you happy. No, don't kill me, please. Oh, thank God it was all a dream. My chest. Oh, thank God. Who is this lady? Always trying to kill me. Hey, who have I offended? I haven't shed anyone's blood all my entire life. Why is this lady always appearing in my dreams? What a nightmare. Oh, who is calling me at this time? Hello? Hello, Brown. Uh-uh, Stefan, you called me with a different number. Yes, sir, Brown. I want to remind you of our agreement tomorrow. Agreement on what, Stefan? Come on. Tomorrow is Saturday. We need to be in the club all day. Is that why you called me by this time? Yes, of course. So you won't forget. Go and sleep, Stefan. Can you imagine calling me by this time of the night to talk about club? You are not serious, Stefan. Anyways, 
I have to see Pastor Light tomorrow because this nightmare is becoming worse as days go by. I hope you will give me the interpretation of the dream. Coco. Hold on, please. Oh, Anna, baby. Good morning, babe. Good morning, my damn self. Please, have a seat. Thank you, babe. What may I offer you, my love? Just a glass of water. Okay, let me get you the cold water. It's not so chill, babe. Just manage it. Oh, thank you, babe. Babe, I want to go inside and have some rest. I was really stressed recently. Hey, this lady has really spoiled my plans. So I won't be able to attend the club this night. She never even gave me notice that she's coming. I should have been doing the remake with many of my biggest boys in town now. Now, are you for real manager? Yes, of course. You need to see how smart I escaped my wife. She nearly caught me. It's high time you stop being unfaithful and leave for your wife alone, Mr. Kudus. Is it not obvious that she's a barren woman? It's exactly six years married now, nothing came out. Ah uh ah, -uh, Mr. Kudus, you don't always have to put the blame on your wife. You have to work on yourself too. Ha <laughs> I should work on myself, you said. Do you know how many doctors that have confirmed my potency? Then wait for God's time. I won't be deceived anymore. God's time is just a mere cover up. Oh, before I forget, I want to discuss something with you. You can go on, Brown. It's about Gabriel. Yes, what about him? Um, he told me that he skipped work twice and is really feeling remorse for it now. Well, as usual, I have debited him already from his slavery. He has been a thorn in this company's flesh. Um, please, manager, I plead on his behalf for you to reconsider. Gabriel is really going through a hard time. Why are you so concerned about this, Mr. Brown? I didn't deduct your money. I only deducted Gabriel's money. Please, sir, I ask you to change your mind. Just don't fire him at this particular time. Um, all right. I will see to that, Brown, but I won't take such nonsense from him again. If MD was aware of this, he may get a sack letter. Thank you, manager. I appreciate it. It's not in my friend. Let's go and have some lunch. I'm very hungry. It's like you even know what's on my mind. Let's go then. Call, call, call. Hold on, please. Brown, brown. Brown, brown. Oh boy, I didn't see you the whole of yesterday. Brown, you won't understand, though. You mean Annabelle is in town now? Annabelle came without even informing me. Yes, of course. Yesterday, I was very excited to go out. I prepared everything when I heard the knock on the door. To my greatest surprise, I opened to behold her. <laughs> you were too excited about going to the club yesterday, so Annabelle intruded in your plans. What's funny, Brown? I will give her a straight money next time she comes. She have to inform me before coming. Well, like I said before, no fiancé, no problem. I have decided to be on my own. That's your own cup of tea. Co -co -co. Annabelle is here. <laughs> hey, hey, don't mock me, you. Oh, baby, welcome. What happened to your phone? I have been calling you since morning. Oh, I guess my phone is silent. Liar. Hello, Mr. Brown. Oh, Annabelle. Long time. Yes. Your friend Stefan is so cunning. Don't be like him. Uh-uh, baby. What is the meaning of that now? <laughs> I have to go now, Stefan. We'll see you later. Take care, Anna. Babe, I don't like how you refer me in the presence of my friends. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> 